They don't want to pay. So let's just come back to where we were. That seems to be the relaxation I promised. If all of you were going to feel more energetic afterwards, all of those like the home, the friends, or the work, they have a lot of energy more than ever. So as you ladies go deeper into that state of hypnosis and trance, every time I say a word, relaxation, hypnosis, or trance, this will be like a trigger for you. You will relax twice as deep every time you hear hypnosis, relaxation, trance, you will relax twice as deep. Somehow you will enter that state automatically today. Now, ladies, as you are in that trance state, sitting in this couch, it's getting more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed. I want you to imagine that you are at the beach. You're at the beach, your favorite beach, maybe Florida, Hawaii, Bahamas, or Barbados. That's your own choice. You're there, you're relaxing, it's warm, it's so hot, it's really hot, 80 degrees, 90 degrees, you can start to feel that hot, you want to fan yourself, you can go ahead and do that, it's becoming so hot, you feel, you, you want to take off your jacket, why is it you're sitting at the beach and you're wearing that jacket, oh my goodness, what are we doing here, yes, it's so hot, you can fan yourself, it's becoming hotter and hotter, Oh my god, it's 81 degrees, 85, it's so hot, you want to fan yourself, it's so hot. You want to drink, oh my god, you want to drink some water, it's so, you become so thirsty, oh my god. Oh my god, there is that water right near you, it's a bottle of water, take that water and drink it. Take that water and drink it, drink it, drink it, drink that water, drink that water, or you have that bottle and drink it, drink it, oh my god. Such a great water. Oh my god, this water is not wine. It's so dirty. Oh my god, somebody did that. Oh my god, it's so dirty. It's disgusting. Oh my god, it's not the. I shouldn't have. No, no, no. This is back to water. No, no, no. It's all good. It was just a mistake. No, it's all good. The water is clean. The water is clean. And you're good. All of a sudden, what's going to happen is that you are in Siberia. You're in Siberia and it's freezing. It's zero degrees. It's zero degrees. It's so cold. You don't have your fur coat. You don't have your fur hat. And it's so cold. What are you going to do? Oh my God. You see all these people walking down wearing this. Or clothes, and you came all the way from America, and that'll be just so here. You see all these people, oh my god, it's freezing. What are you gonna do? So cold, so cold. You wanna drink, oh, you wanna drink some water? You can even drink it because it's so icy. Oh my god, it's freezing right now. And what's gonna happen next? You're sitting all the way in that Siberia, in the forest, in the snow, and the bear is walking. Huge, big, giant bear. You want to hide from that bear. It's so cold. You want to hide from that bear. It's walking towards you, and it's so scary. Oh my God! It's scary. It's looking disgusting, and dirty, dirty, and disgusting. Look at that bear. It's so disgusting. You want to hide. You want to hide. Use your use your partners. Use your shoulders to hide. Hide from that bear. Use this pillow. Just hide because. 
You don't hide it's going to come towards you. It's going to come towards you. He's going to eat you alive if you don't hide. Oh my God, hide, 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 be, hide behind that chair, hide behind the couch. Use this feeling, use this blanket, hide it, hide yourself, hide yourself. If you don't hide yourself, he's going to eat you alive. He's going to eat you alive. Oh my God. Yes, now you're a heat now. The bear is not going to find you. No one's going to bother you, you're doing just fine, feeling good, feeling fine, feeling fine, feeling good. Feeling back to this reality, back to this reality. Now, when we're talking about what's happening in the world right now, there's a lot of kind of stuff, disasters, earthquakes, the war. Now, a lot of you, one of you has a mission to save the world, to save the world from all the disasters, whatever's happening in the world and causing all this trouble. One of you is going to be one of those people who's going to save the world. You are a superwoman. You're a superwoman right now. I want you, superwoman, to show and raise your hand. Who's that superwoman? Who's one? Who wants to save the world? Good, Amethyst, you're a superwoman right now. And all the rest of the people, they're all your soldiers. They're your soldiers, girl soldiers. You're a superwoman, you have a noble cause. You're going to save the world. One, two, three, eyes open and count three. Great. Hi, ladies. How are you doing? Hello, good evening. What um, what is your position specifically? Well, actually, I've got to find the area in which to you know help people, and I think that that's why we have to have so many soldiers and whatnot involved. Now I have a team, and we're going to do special some special forces and whatnot. And what we're going to do is use our creative mind energy in order to help people. And work together. Well, is, is your team here? Yes. Wait, how, how did you get together? How did you find them? Well, actually, believe it or not, through the internet. Yeah. It was pretty interesting how it happened. Yeah. But, but, um, but what's happened is, is that we're going to all be trained to use our psychic mind power in order to find out the areas and the locations of where mm -hmm. a lot of the, um, you know, the areas are like overseas and in Iraq and whatnot to find out where the fight is located. Oh my God, that's so noble. How did you come to that? When did it start for you? Well, I think we all have it, but not everyone's tapped into it. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have the psychic energy and whatnot. Do you have um, Do you have your soul? Do you have like a plane that you use to fly all over the world? Yes, we have a plane. We have a private plane actually. Private plane. And there's a couple others too that surround us and make sure that we're protected. Or surround you? Yes. We right. have like about five different planes. Can I join that force? Of course you can. Is you have your license and whatnot. Mm -hmm. No, well, you're going to have to go through special training mm -hmm. for that. Can you fill out the application also? Of course, of course. There's going to have to be a criminal test mm -hmm. on you. You have to make sure that you're going to be set mm -hmm. in. Can I ask one of your soldiers how they got into that? Yes. Oh, are you one of the soldiers? Do you know? Really? I thought that you're one of the team. No. No, you're not. Oh, you're just sitting with that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, that's really really Are you a soldier? Yes. Yes. Are you have power or did you join that team and when? So you are gonna help us save the world? Yes. What what's um what's what's the plan? When do you think it's gonna be achieved? Like for saving the world? Um, I'm just a soldier and I'm just gonna put my hand on the force. Yeah. Whatever I'm supposed to be doing. 
I have to say I'm proud that you have such, such a big employer. When uh, will you be in the world of the same? Well, I don't know the exact time frame. I mean, it's going to take a while because what we have to do is eliminate certain areas of destruction, which is political, um, mm -hmm. in all over the world, actually, in many mm -hmm. different countries, and we have to get through to them mm -hmm. somehow. Um, haven't quite come up with, we're, we're working on the plan right mm -hmm. now, but uh, the government also has Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Now, in the main I just want to ask you this. Could you just look in my eyes for a second? Just look in my eyes and focus in my eyes and rise up to relax the way deep, more deep, more deep. And close your eyes when you're ready. Good. Wonderful. You can just that. From this moment onward for the next few minutes, your mission will be to destroy that force, to destroy that team, because you're doing something different. You have a different agenda. Of course, you're going to close your eyes and relax the party. But just for the sake of game, if you were given a party in the morning, you are the evil person that was going to destroy this normal people right now. You can open your eyes here and tell me exactly what you want to do. One, two, three, eyes open, fully aware. Hi. Yeah. Are you um, in the same team with Anakis? No, I am not. So, I believe that we need to take over the world. Take over the world? Yes. And then do what with? Well, we have one power. One power? Yes. Are you um, trying to destroy it or? Yes, I am. Are you? Oh my god. What are you going to do? She's like a traitor. Do you consult with your soldiers who had to create a plan or I'm sure you don't know that you have to do it? Anything more than it? Oh. We are. Now, this exercise is going to be kind of fun and interesting. So what's going to happen, ladies, is that two of, some of you will switch your identities, okay? Now, you don't know each other too well, but you probably got an idea of each other, more or less, okay? So what's going to happen is that you're going to switch your identities and Claire will become Amethyst and Amethyst will become Claire. So now Amethyst, think of yourself, you are Claire, you are Claire, and Claire, think of yourself that you are Amethyst. You can ask what your name is, of course, Amethyst is Claire. On count three, eyes open, back to the room. One, two, three. Hello. Thank you, ladies, for being such a great, wonderful adults here with me. Um, what's your name? Claire. Um, Amethyst Valentine. Oh, so Amethyst, you are here to do what? I live in New York City. Are you from Maine, really? That's amazing. Yeah. Do you have time? Did you have to dye your hair blonde or your natural blonde? Natural blonde. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are 
leave it a little dark again, or you can take it off this is more fun. It's the fun for women to wear to me the dress. Okay, so this time we're gonna go back into back into into uh, being a young girl or five years old. Let's see, you are now you're gonna be five years old. Think of the time when you were five years old, six years old, what you did. You're so young, you're such a baby. All of you are now five years old, and your voice is becoming like five years old. And you're playing somewhere outside or inside, and you have your toys, your favorite toys. I don't know, maybe you have your favorite friends with you. So you're back to your five count time. And on count three, your eyes will be open. You are five years old. One. Two, three, eyes open. Hi, kids. Oh. 
Travel into the future. We're going to travel into the future, and one of you will become 40 years old, achieve whatever they have to achieve. You have to achieve in having a job or family or kids, and uh, yes, just doing the best, the best in your life. Okay, on count three. Open your eyes. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. What um, um what, what do you do? Uh, I'm just interviewing for television. Uh, like adults. <laughs> I was on TV. I was on a show for five years. Oh really? What kind of show? Um Are you an actor? Yes. Okay. Wow. Was it hard to achieve such success in sitcom? Um, it was. It's always hard, but once I got on, you know, it was. You just started. It was luck, you know. Oh. Are you married right now? Yes. Children? Yes. Yeah. How many? Two. Great. Do you live in New York? You probably have a house I in live New York, but yeah, I travel a oh, lot. But I live in New York the most. Mm. What was the most? 
almost uh, what, what lessons did you learn? I mean, you have been so successful, but we see on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to pass to us? To me, yeah, I don't know much, but I would love to. Um, just have fun where, wherever you go. Have fun doing whatever you're doing. You'll feel if it's the right thing or not. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I need to read you. What is it that, what do you do? Yes, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Have you done films? A lot of films, a lot of TV. In fact, I've seen you. I've seen you in that movie. Oh my god, it's you. I was in the theater. <gasps> you are so good at it. Well, what was that guy, your uh, postdoc? What's his name again? His name was Joshua. Joshua? He's a, a brand new actor, yeah. Brand new? He's, yeah, yeah I can see this. Oh my god, he's like hot. Uh, you were uh, playing out with him, or sometime in the city? We had some on-screen chemistry, and uh, you know he's a great guy. Yeah. Um, Are you married though? Yeah. In real life? No. Oh, okay. Well, you never know, right? <laughs> Thank you. What about you? What do you do? Well, play undergrad too. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, sort of like the films and play the. Are you working together? We did a long time ago. I don't know if you remember. Um, I was actually an extra in a film. Really? Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but I, I definitely remember that. It was about two women had babies. Was it like that? Or no? it was Small world. We were, we were featured though. So that was like the third star. Oh, um, it was like, like yeah, yeah. It's in the small world. Yeah. Isn't that? What about you ladies? Um, we, you are obviously here because you achieved such success. We would like to interview successful people. How did you get to that point? What is it that you do? I personally, and I worked hard, and basically I'm a producer and director. Yeah. No. I'm currently divorced. So oh, I'm so sorry. But it's okay. It didn't work out. I was a jerk. And it was Hollywood type. So. Yeah. And uh, I do have two beautiful. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Trying to manage. What's what's the next project that you're working on? Currently working um, on a film right, right. now. Um, it's actually a novel. I'm directing it. It's my it's my fourth film by myself, and we've got some big names working on it. Oh, it's, okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Just close. <laughs> okay. And uh, Claire. Can we get tickets? And all of us, do you want tickets? Uh, this you game? have to talk to the producer. Oh, no. Are you singing in the band? Yes. Yeah. And you play instruments too, right? Yes. What's the name of your band? Um, it's the Book Supplies. Book Supplies. Oh, yay! I think they used one of your uh, songs in a movie. Oh, yes. yes. Just that was an event. And I saw you on Colin O'Brien also. Yes. That's great. Great, great. great. Well, that was fun. Lots of luck. Thank I wish you. all of you ladies. Thank you. All right. Or feeling good, feeling relaxed, more relaxed, more relaxed. More relaxed. So I'm just going to walk and relax a little more. Relaxed, feeling good. Over here, 
are so relaxed right here. Going deeper into the heart, into the feeling body. one of you. I'm going to touch one of you and whoever I touch will be now an alien. You will now be an alien coming from a planet, a totally different planet, and the rest of you are going to fight that alien. Who's that alien? Some of you will get scared. So whoever I touch is an alien. Now, whoever I, touch, whoever I touch is going to get so scared of that alien. So scared. First time seeing the alien, you don't know what to do. Now, these two people that I touch will be protectors. They're going to fight this alien. They're going to fight the alien and protect planet Earth. Now, whoever I touch now will be so nonchalant and indifferent. And falling asleep, so tired, not believing in all these alien stories because you think that it's not an alien. This is somebody in the costume. It's all a joke. You don't believe in that. And whoever I touch now will have so much fun, will laugh so hard, and have the most fun here in the room. Okay, on count three, eyes will be open. One, two, three, back to me. We have an alien in the room. <laughs> we have an alien in the room here. <laughs> Looks like an alien. <laughs> Let go of me. I will get to her. I will get to her. Deep into the state of profound relaxation. Okay, now everybody unfreeze and go back into your seats. Go back into your seats. Back into your seat. All back to normal. And Claire is going to be even deeper relaxed. Relax and relax. Uh, look, at, look at me. And close your eyes. Go into in trance, in hypnosis, into that state of relaxation. Nothing can distract you. Nothing will bother you.
Okay, so if everybody's super relaxed, very much relaxed. So this is going to be just for well, let's all turn here. I'm just open your eyes. Just look up here. Just find it. And the more you follow it, the more relaxed the person will become. Now I'm going to give you this suggestion. Everybody's relaxed. You can see that. I'm going to give you this suggestion. Now, move your fingertips. Then, you will be in a position to embed the hypnotist. The most talented. You're going to give us the directions. You're going to give us all the directions that you want. And I'm going to be stopping. So as soon as it stops, you're going to close your eyes and then open them to this actor. To this actor, you will open them and scan your Occupy Now button. Are open. When your eyes open, your shoes will be too small for you. The smaller shoes ever, like five sizes too small. On the count of three, one, two, three. Landed on Earth and only speak your language. Just like the, the alien I just tapped is going to have an emergency message to give to everyone else. But she'll realize that I can't understand it because it's alien. The person that I'm touching right now is the only person that can interpret alien language. You will have to explain to us the emergency message that the alien is trying to tell us and make sure we understand it properly. On the count of three, our eyes will open. We'll have our alien delivering our message and our alien interpreter. Okay, one, two, three. Anyone have anything important to say? I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Can you come here? She's trying to tell you something important. What? What? She's trying to tell you something important. What is she saying? She's showing me. There's danger coming. Danger. We have to, we have to get prepared. Prepared for what? Yanyama. Yashomani Kasha. Um a big asteroid or something is coming. It's coming in twenty four hours. We have to evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate what? Where are we 
She's following all the instructions so well. Now, Beth, I'm um, sorry, Claire, uh, you will, I'm going to ask you, we're going to be very simple again. We've done that a little earlier. You will count from 1 to 10, but for some reason, number 6 will be gone. It will be gone from your mind. It will be missing just for the next few minutes. It will be missing. From 1 to 10, you will count, and number 6 will be missing. You will count 3, you will be back, sitting straight, feeling good, and your eyes will be open. 1, 2, 3. So is everybody else. 1, 2, 3, eyes open. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Could you please count for me from 1 to 10? following my instructions. Now the six will be back, but instead of five, you're going to say a word New York. Instead of five, there's no more five, you're going to say New York. So that's number five for you. Okay, your eyes will be open on count three, feeling great energy is coming back to you. One, two, three, eyes open. Can you please count from one? New York is gone and five is back. In your mind. Okay, ladies, you're doing perfectly fine. I'm going to give you some good suggestions for today. You're going to feel better than ever. You just close your eyes for a moment, come back into that state. You all did a great job. Thank you so much. You're all great subjects, all actresses. So, Tina. You're going to feel very powerful today. You're going to notice all the details that you've never noticed before. And you've been smoking, but now you will look at the cigarettes and you're going to say to yourself, do I really want to smoke them? Do I really want to be a smoker? You will start to reconsider your own choices. And you want to become so healthy, so healthy. I want you to repeat this right after me. I'm becoming more and more healthy. I'm becoming more and more healthy. I will consider my choices twice. I will consider my choices twice. Great, you're doing perfectly fine. Claire, you will be inviting me as part of your, 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 
You have this problem with body and mind syndrome. So from this one over, you feel relaxed, calm right now. You notice that you no longer have that habit. And every time you start to think and start to bite your nails, all you do is just make that mental note in your mind. You make that mental, mental note and think, do I really want to do this? You just stop yourself. And when you stop yourself, you realize how powerful you are. That you can reach so many things in your life. You can achieve so much. You have more and more success. And you can be a great director, producer. Because you can control your own emotions. So the moment you want to start biting them, pinching them, 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 do anything with these nails or skin around your nails, you stop it. You make that mental note. And all you will do is succeed in your life. You have total control of yourself. You just say it to me. I have a total control of myself. I have total control of myself. Great. Okay, Kate. You are an excellent actress. You feel more and more confident. More and more confident about yourself. Being more focused in your life than ever. You have this focus and determination. Just repeat right after me. I feel focused, determined, and driven. I feel focused, determined, and driven. You will have that focus, and you know that you have that focus because when you do things, when you participate in activities, everyday activities starting in the morning, you will have that sharp focus. You will see things you would never notice before. You will know exactly what you want to do throughout the day, what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve, and you will do that. You will get what you want because you have that sharp focus. And when you have that sharp focus, you will know inside yourself, wow, I really have that focus. I really have it. And that pleases me. It makes me feel good. Just repeat back to me again. I have, I have a sharp focus. I have a sharp focus. And you're using Amethyst, you're starting to feel more and more relaxed. You feel more and more better about yourself. You feel more and more powerful. It's as if you have that female power that increases you. You you do things, you you become more and more successful in your life. In your relationships, you see things that you want to be friends with, uh, people that you want to be friends with people that you maybe don't want to, you see the exactly right people for you, for your life. You see those right people, you interact with them, your communications are improving day by day. And you feel more powerful and more confident. And you attract the right person in your life. Just repeat right after me. I attract the right people into my life. more and more happy, you're focusing on your acting career, you find your hidden talents, you realize that you are a talented girl, a talented person, and you start to discover your own talents. And the more you discover them, the more you're happy to those talents. You feel being more confident being in front of the camera, you feel being more confident being in front of the casting directors or being on stage. Just repeat right after me, I'm a confident person. I'm a confident person. I am very talented. I am very talented. And I love being on stage. And I love being on stage. Great. Feeling better? Feeling good. Now, Diana, again, you are becoming also extremely focused on your life. And all the previous anxieties are now being released. In fact, you imagine that all of these anxieties have gone by the being here, by doing these exercises, interacting with people that you just met, all these anxieties just dissipate. And you're going to feel so, so good about yourself. You're going to feel, you're going to feel so relaxed that whatever you do in your life, going on to auditions, meeting new people, meeting new friends, you're going to feel that sense of empowerment, that joy, and that abundant confidence in you. Just repeat right after me. Feel confident. I feel strong. I feel strong. Very good. Everyone, when you open your eyes, you're going to feel a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy coming to you. 
You can feel a sense of empowerment or you can go home or anywhere else with your friends or with your work. You're going to feel extremely, actually going to feel a little different. You're going to have the, the totally different feeling that only you know. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And you all will want to learn more about hypnosis. You're going to feel that it's actually not that complicated and there's something to it. You will be willing to learn about it. You will try to find materials or do whatever you have to do about it. And you all will have a wonderful, wonderful day. A great evening. And every time you see a red color today, whether it's a red car or a red carpet or a red piece of clothing, this will remind you remind you how great you are as a person, how unique you are as a person, and you love yourself and you love your future. Okay, and from here you open your eyes, fully aware, you can start to stretch yourself, move a little bit, feel good, the energy is coming to you. One, feeling better. Two, your eyes are feeling so refreshed as if you bathed in full spring water, feeling so refreshed. Three, eyes open, fully aware, welcome back. Thank you, Elena. Thank you. Ask them how they feel. How are you feeling? How how was it for you? What do you think, Tina? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Was that something new for you? Something different? Absolutely. Yeah. Refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. And how was that? Yeah. Yeah. They considered it. Yeah. yeah. And this one too. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. It's great. Good evening, everybody. I'm Amber Greenwich, your hypnotist for this evening. Perhaps you, you had a long day and you just want to relax. Yeah. Let the sound of my voice guide you into a peaceful trance. The moment you looked into my eyes, you felt an instant connection. Because your body feels just so heavy arms and legs feel so loose. Loose and limp. You just relax your legs, your hand, your wrist, relax your cheek, and if your teeth are still clenched together, you can relax your jaws right now. And sleep. Deeper down, all the way down now. Very good, good. When I count from one to three this time, you will open your eyes, yet remain in deep hypnosis. As soon as you open your eyes, you will look directly into my eyes. As you do, you will not be able to remember your name. When I ask you for your name, your mind will draw a blank. No matter how hard you try, you will not be able to say your name. One. Two. Three. I open. Oh, you're such a good puppy. <laughs> now bark like a puppy. Aw. What a sweet puppy. Sleep.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Larissa Blackcomb, your hypnotist for tonight. This is a volunteer-based show. So in a minute, I'm going to ask for some volunteers to come on stage and join me for a hypnotic journey. Concentrate. You are very, very tired. With every swing, your eyes become heavier and heavier. With every swing, your mind becomes twice as Close sleep. your eyes now and sleep. And feel yourself turning into my statue. Feel yourself turning into my sculpture. Good. Good. You are now a piece of art, and I have created you. I am the artist, and you are my masterpiece. Now where should I display you? Maybe I should put you into a museum? That way, tourists can come by every day. And sleep. Forget everything that just happened. Forget all about it. Everybody on stage, listen to me carefully. In a moment, I'm going to wake you up. When you wake up, this time you will become a mindless zombie. A zombie has no brain. Everybody on stage, listen to me carefully. Since you were all zombies, and I'm the one who made you into zombies, then I must be the zombie queen, right? Everyone on stage, repeat after me. In the most monotonous zombie voice, Larissa Blackcomb is my zombie queen. <laughs> now repeat in your zombie voice. I must obey my zombie queen, Larissa. <laughs> hey, the man who just walked in the door. The show is just about to start. There is still a seat up at the front here. Come sit down and make yourself comfortable. My name is Scarlett. I am a hypnotist. And tonight we are going to sleep together. And do everything Scarlett says. And obey all of her commands. <laughs> Isn't that like your body has a mind of its own? It is like you don't have control of your body. Just moving by itself. Moving on to my stage. Members of the audience, these are our volunteers for tonight. Let's give these people a great round of applause. <laughs> With each step you take, you go deeper into my hypnosis. With each step you take, you go deeper in my control. When I reach the number one, you will be at the bottom of this staircase, completely hypnotized, willing and able to do anything I say, where everything will be perfect. Anything I say will be real. Last step now, one, 
sleep. Sleep for Scarlet. Sleeping so deeply now. From now on, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, here are a group of highly suggestible people experiencing the deepest possible hypnosis. Isn't this beautiful? This is probably the most relaxed they've ever experienced, the deepest slumber in their life. One of my puppies too. So go ahead and give them a hug. Snuggle up to them like they are the cutest puppy. <laughs> Don't you want to be one of them? Don't you want to be one of my puppies? At the count of three, you will be the cutest puppy in the world, forgetting you were ever human. You are one of my puppies. You were born my puppy. You will always be my puppy. One, two, three. My volunteers on stage, listen carefully. In a moment, I am going to wake you up and release you from my hypnosis. All of you will return. You will be just like you were before you got on the stage, but you will still find my post-hypnotic suggestions stuck in your head 